Welcome, everybody. Happy Friday. I was just looking out the window and I saw the sun is trying really hard to peek through some clouds here in Colorado on a snowy Friday. And I thought that was a sign for me to start and there's like 50 people on early. So I just wanna say hi, I'm Heather. I'll be guiding the journey today, tonight. Um, Shervin just chimed in and said hello, Shervin's here. Shervin's my partner tonight. He'll be helping to moderate our chat function uh, while we're practicing. If you have questions or things come up, um, he, will drop, he will drop in uh, great information for you. If I quote something, he'll probably look it up and he's so fast, he'll look it up online and put the link up for you. So just wanna say a shout out to Shervin. Shervin, thank you for all the work that you've been doing, helping all of us really um, get online and, and be on, on YouTube together. Yeah, the sun is really coming out, which is great. Hi, Joseph. Good to hear. Good to see you. Thanks for joining early. Team, I'd love to, uh, I'd love to hear a little bit uh, from all of us this, this afternoon, this evening, wherever you are in the country. Uh, love to talk a little bit about how are you making the most of this time that we all have right now, this crazy, crazy time. How are you making the most out of it? I'd love to have us all share a little bit about that because I think that is inspiration for all of us. You hear somebody spending sweet time with their family or cooking at home, uh, yoga live sessions. Yes, Joseph, you are, totally, <laughs> thank you. Um, it reminds us all and, and we can all lean in and take more advantage of these moments, right? Uh, there's the dark in these moments that we're all in, for sure, uh, but there's also turning inward and uh, you know, when life gets hard, it's our opportunity to get good at life, right? Get good at who we really wanna be in life. So how are you making the most of these moments, these unusual moments where life is sort of slowing down a little bit, where things are changing, yes, but we have the opportunity at home to look inward. So I'd love to hear how you're spending your time. What are you doing? What are you really enjoying doing uh, with uh, some of this unusual time that we have, this uh, not regular life that we're living right now? For those of you just joining, I'm Heather. Virginia, you're still working. Thank you. As a nurse, you are an angel on this earth. Uh, so it's really important to enjoy your times off. I agree. I completely agree. I have not had a lot of time off and I took a 20 minute nap before this class. So I was really enjoying that. And now I'm really enjoying the sun coming out, trying to study more anatomy. Kristen, yes, woo! Well, you came to the right class because I'm an anatomy geek. So we'll geek out together. Thank you for your service on the front lines, Virginia. Catherine, I agree. I think all nurses, I think all, all people who are in healthcare right now, uh, you all are angels that walk this earth right now. So thank you for being our first responders and, and supporting all of us. Props to the OC. Hey, my friends in the OC, thanks for being here. How are you spending your time right now? Uh, what are the, the sweet moments that you're taking in this crazy time? That's the question for the chat. What are you most enjoying doing or what's the, what are the unusual things that you're getting to do that you're enjoying at this moment? We are starting all of our classes early, uh, just like we do at the studio where you can chat with your, with your yoga teacher. Uh, we're doing that same thing here on live stream, on Core Power Yoga live stream. So we always have questions. Uh, second thing, start an S Corp. Oh, as a corporate finance consultant. Awesome, Joseph, that's great. I love it, I love it. Using this time to bring something creative uh, to really achieve what you're supposed to do in this world. So thank you for doing that. Outstanding, outstanding. So we're always taking a little bit of time at the beginning of classes to connect this way. It's really important. If you see at the bottom of your device, um, if it's a device, you'll have a little uh, chat bubble. And if you hit that, you can type in your chat. All of us sharing across the the nation really from Hawaii all the way over to and really around the world we had someone earlier on from Buenos Aires um, so welcome everyone across the whole the whole world uh, sharing now what what are you enjoying what what's how are you spending and making the most of this interesting time that we're living in right now and again getting inspired by other people's comments too so chat in type in thanks for spending Friday night with all of us together I know many of us are alone at home 
And if that's the case for you, know that right now you're not, you're with all of us. Surely you've been making a conscious effort to virtually connect with your loved ones near and far. Awesome, totally so grateful for technology, me too. I've actually been in more contact with my parents than I have been, than I am normally. Um, make sure you sign in on your mobile device if you'd like to chat here. Yeah, I was just gonna say uh, chat the chat function, sign in, select live chat, and then you'll be able to chat in. So uh, thanks for bringing that up, Shervin, I appreciate that. We have 58 people. I really didn't know how many people we'd have tonight. Thank you all so much for being here on a Friday night, an unusual Friday night. We've got 10 more minutes. Another question I wanted to bring up for everyone, not only is, you know, what are you enjoying or spending good quality time on during this interesting time in life, but feel free to chat that in still too. I'd love to hear from the greater community uh, what is your definition of a Kriya? K-R-I-Y-A. That's a Sanskrit word, but I'd love if you don't know it. Oh, Adrian, you're here. Oh, you're enjoying uh, time with your family in the evening. Oh, your mom in St. Lucia and Orlando and your brother. Awesome. So you're all Skyping. Fantastic. Excited for Yoga Sculpt tonight. Yay, stuff. Me too. Me too. So we, uh, I'd love to hear, uh, two a day is virtually are giving you life. Yes, I know, Steph, you're like, I thought you were doing three days. I, I, it's like every time you're on, it's fantastic to have you join us. Thank you, thank you. And again, where are you finding your energy right now? What are you spending your time on that's giving you energy? I think that's important for all of us to share together. Hey, Dana Point, Edie, thanks for, thanks for signing in. Thanks for being here. Kriya, K-R-I-Y-A, Virginia and Holly. Yes, absolutely. So those of you that do know what it is, I'd love to hear your definitions of what a Kriya is, uh, and then we can all be learning from each other, because I think that's the best part of our community is that we all learn together and we learn from each other. So love to know if you have a good definition for what a Kriya is, K-R-I-Y-A. Oh, Adrian's been looking forward to it all day. Awesome. <laughs> and she's saying, hi, Shirley. Yeah, please ch shout out to people that you see on the chat. Joseph breathing. Yes, Kriya is absolutely our breath breathing um, in a particular way of breathing as well. It's usually less, um, less organized than asana or postures uh, that we do. Uh, what is a Kriya? What do you think a Kriya is or what is it potentially? Hey, you could even look up on your smartphone, but I don't even want you to go off YouTube. Just those of you that know what a Kriya is. Hi from Chicago. Yes, Kelly, I'm excited to sculpt with you too. Steph says, Kriya to me is a movement that you do repetitively to help tap into energetic centers. Uh, that is so true. I think you absolutely have it. Yes. And they either provide energy or grounding. That's, that's a great, that's a great definition. Absolutely. Um, so Kriya, Kriya, Kri is to make or do. Um, ya is almost um, like a root of yoke um, and to pull together. So it is something, it's a repetitive action. Um, asana or postures in yoga are positions that we hold in our body, right? Like you think of warrior two, you're holding a position or in eagle pose, you're holding a position. Often the energy uh, channels either are constricted like in eagle and then they flow free afterwards, a constriction effect, or they set up in optimal Mm, almost bio-harmonizing, biogeometrical bio shapes in the body that create optimal harmony and flow inside of our energetic system. So it's lining you up into these like powerful shapes that get more flow in your body. That is asana. Kriya is that repetitive motion that, that Steph was sharing with us. It, it magnetizes the energy. So instead of optimal flow and getting, you know, and either holding off flow and then letting it go, or creating an optimal shape that allows energy to flow through the body. A Kriya is like a magnetic effect. You pulse, you pull, you pull the energy, you magnetize the energy through your body. Uh, so that's what we're gonna be doing tonight is Kriyas. So we're going to be, hello, Heather. Oh, it's good to see you. I love Kriyas and I love you. That's so great. Thanks, Shervin. I, I think that's Shervin on Core Power Yoga. I don't know, it was a lot of emojis for Sherman, so it might have been somebody else, but I love you all, thank you. So that's the goal tonight, is that we're going, oh, it's Beth, oh, even better. Beth, to, not even better, it's all good, but I thought that was a lot of emojis for Sherman, can I just say that? <laughs> 
Um, thank you. Yes, that's it, team. So tonight we're going to add Kriyas into our body weight sculpt. Why I think this is important for us to talk a little bit about is that Kriyas have this intention to give you energy and draw you towards enlightenment but they also have a physiological benefit of working our joints and working the muscles around our joints. So it looks very similar to doing physical drills. Um, I just wanna shout out, cause I, my nieces are on the line tonight. So hi Zoe, hi Karis, if you're on. Uh, my nieces are in their young teens. They're incredible dancers and quite honestly, Cirque du Soleil level, um, almost contortionists. And I'm really, really proud of them. Um, and I just wanted to share uh, that they know for sure, right? As, as like semi-professional dancers already at their age, they do drills all day long. They, they practice for about eight hours a day and that's after school, you know, before and after school. Uh, you know, if you played sports growing up or you even, you know, I was a musician. If you were a musician, you did drills, right? We called them um, in, in an, I got my undergraduate degree in opera, which by the way, was really useful. I know my folks are really proud of that. <laughs> um, it really useful in regular life, but we, you know, did scales. Uh, if you were in sports, you did drills and that is repetitive motion in particular ranges of motion to get you so good at something that it then becomes second nature. So that's what the physiological benefit is. A Kriya does still do that, but the Kriyas that we're doing go through each and every one of your main energy centers, and those are called chakras in your body. Um, they're connected to like very core fundamental human talents. Uh, you can think of it as, as a human in life, we grow, right? Our goal is to grow. Our goal is to learn. Eckhart Tolle says it, and I think he says it so well. We're here on this planet in an earth school. And so uh, the Kriyas allow us to unlock energy in all of our chakras to allow us to grow and become more complete humans. So that's what's exciting about adding the Kriyas into body weight sculpt, as far as I'm concerned. We're getting extraordinary physical conditioning and we're getting the energetic benefit of making us more whole humans. So, okay, that was a lot. <laughs> uh, I'd love to hear from you. What, a uh, couple things. One, do you have questions on Kriyas? Did that start to make some connections in your brains? Uh, two, do you have interest or, or um, oh, like, is the tapping and drilling for chakra. Tapping does open up channels and energy, Joseph. It sure does. Um, it's more of a reset for the nervous system. Yeah, you've seen people tap. We may tap tonight. If not, we'll definitely tap on Sunday. Uh, so we have been doing a lot of um, EFT, emotional freedom techniques as well. So we'll definitely be doing some of that. I'd love to hear what questions do you have about chakras? Are you interested in that, Gabrielle? Yes, oh, you're so welcome. I'm so happy to be doing this. I'm so happy you're here. Gabriella, thanks for being here. It's so great to have you all here. We have 123 people on a Friday night, incredible. Okay. Typing it into the chat function at least once. Here's the share. Share one thing you're taking advantage of. What are, how are you making the most of your time right now? What's the thing that you are either surprised or delighted by that you're doing? Whether it's just something simple like making food for your family or having calls with your family because that's how you're connecting because maybe they're not near you or with you. What, how are you spending your time that's giving you joy right now? Type it in the chat function, my friends. Learning to meditate with Sam Harris, finally. Fantastic. Sinead, that's great. More family workouts. Cat Sand. Hi, Sand family. Hi, Sand family. Welcome. Uh, studying Crystal Reiki. Awesome. Connecting with other people far away, Heather. Yes. Oh, you're so welcome. We're so happy to be doing this. Taking time for personal practice at home, Neil. Yes, you are. I've seen you three times now. Amazing. Getting extra sleep. FaceTime with the family, Beth. Yes. Tab and Catherine are here. Hi, Tab. So good to see you, Catherine. We've talked like five times today. It's good to see you again. Practicing yoga at home with your awesome roommates, Billy. Ah, oh, thank you. 
connecting with people you love, Beth, great. Taking advantage of taking a sculpt class without the 100, 100 degree heat. I love it too. Uh, it's never enough, right? I know our time together is never enough. One thing I'm taking advantage of is having quiet time with Deegan, just talking. Oh, I love that, so great. I love people saying hi to everyone. Adrian saying hi, Billy as well. Katie in LA with my mom. Yes, Katie LaCap, I love it. Oh, enjoying cooking for yourself, Kelly. That's great. Baking some new recipes, awesome. Putting together a huge list of muscle action cues for Gold Coast Chicago family. Shout out to Chicago, shout out all over the nation. Living in the present, Edie, I love that, thank you. Yes, Adolfo, hi, welcome. Welcome to you, welcome to you. It's a fantastic team. We had mentioned uh, that we are, uh, yes, Max, Amanda. Oh. So great, it's good to have you here, Amanda. We had been talking about Kriyas. Uh, we've got a lot more people joining in, so I just wanna mention that tonight's practice, while it is absolutely a body weight sculpt, we're actually going to be taking and adding in Kriyas. And Kriyas are yogic exercises that different from yogic postures that we call asanas. Um, oh, Bam Bam and Josh, oh, you're having fun spending 24 seven together. Great, I love it, it's so good to see you. Oh. So good to see you. Joel Klossler, oh, fantastic. Joel, I loved your class. By the way, what an amazing day of classes. Started with Anthony Chavez. What? That, bought, that, that sculpt class this morning was rocking. What a great way to start the day. Uh, and then Joel's beautiful C2 class. He did some of the Kriyas that we'll do this afternoon, so that'll be a great warm up if you're doubling up or tripling up today. And then we're gonna work into the Kriyas as well. The goal for the Kriyas, again, is to open up our energy channels and allow us to become more full humans, moving through the entire chakra system, right? The first chakra is at the very base of our spine and it's about security and safety. So you might imagine that we're gonna do a lot of first chakra Kriyas tonight. We're gonna to do a lot of exercises that work inside of the first chakra, which is all through the legs and the glutes. Uh, second chakra is around your sacral area, the sacrum, um, your hips, and that is your creative center. And, um, and it's important for us to turn on and fire our creative juices, especially right now, to take advantage of the time and think creatively and um, think you know, strategically in different ways. So we're gonna open that up and do a lot. Lisa Bloom, oh, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining. I'm so glad you made it, my sweet friend. Uh, and then the third chakra is right at your solar plexus, and that is all about ego and will and commitment. We're gonna work that, of course. So one through three will work a lot. We will work all the chakras. The heart chakra you may have heard of, it's all about compassion and love and unconditional love. Throat chakra is about speaking your truth. Third eye chakra, your brow center, is about knowing and intuition. And then your seventh chakra is your crown chakra and it's about connection, connection to all and connection to the vine. And we're gonna also work the eighth chakra as well, which is your aura. And we're gonna clean and cleanse our aura as well. So that's what we're doing tonight, team. It's all inside of a body weight sculpt as well. I think I'm gonna get us started. Feel free to keep chatting. Uh, here's one thing I'd love to ask as we are in this new time, right? Things are a little different. I'm gonna ask people, if you don't mind, setting your mat up um, rather than facing to your device, facing this way. So we're all facing the same way. That's the way I'm gonna face too. And I promise I'm gonna keep you more facing the device. So, uh, so you will, will be doing that tonight. So I'll say set yourself up if you can, if you have the space to have your mat that parallel to the, to, the, to the screen, to your screen, whatever screen you're watching on. We'll get started in just a minute. Welcome for those of you joining. I'm seeing we're still getting more people on. It's so fantastic. Thank you so much for being here for a little body weight sculpt uh, with some Kriyas. So Kriyas are yogic exercises 
that unlock energy inside of our body, that help us become more whole humans. And so we'll start with the first one. Again, tonight, if you don't mind, and if it's possible, set up your mat long ways against your device, uh, same way that I have my mat set up as well. And I promise I'm gonna keep us facing into your device throughout the day, throughout the night tonight. Have a seat on your mat. We're gonna start with the Kriya uh, for the first chakra. First chakra, again, is about safety and security, and really the opportunity in life when things become unstable, like they are now, when the life you thought you had is not maybe necessarily the case anymore. Uh, the opportunity is to realize our safety and security is inside of us, rather than the outer world, it's inside of us. We've always had everything inside of us we've always needed. And that's the opportunity, the lesson right now, I think a huge lesson in life. So booty drops, I affectionately call them booty drops. So if you are menstruating or you're a pregnant goddess, you are just gonna do boat pose and hold there uh, or docked boat with your legs on, with your feet on the floor. The rest of us, plant your palms and we'll do one slow. Push down, lift your hips back and up, get your tush off the mat and then lower it down. This is what it looks like, and then we'll do about 30 together. When you get going, it's dropping, and you're gonna let your heels and your tush drop. Eventually, your feet will rise off the mat. If they don't at first, that's fine. Eventually, your core will strengthen, your pelvic floor will strengthen. Let's do 30 together. Booty drops, begin. Keep breathing. 10 more. Two, one, relax. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Cross your legs if this is comfortable or come to your knees or keep your legs out extended. Kegel exercises. So these are exercises for your pelvic floor. Close your eyes. You can imagine that you're closing off or stopping the flow of urine. Squeeze all the way up and in. Squeeze, hold for three, two, one, release. Do it again, squeeze all the way up and in. Squeeze your pelvic floor, get it really strong. Three, two, one, release. All right, faster, on the beat. Let's go, go squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Squeeze, squeeze, for four, three, two, one, good core power yoga. I don't know that we've ever done kegels on YouTube. Arch your back, open up your heart. Exhale, round your spine. Again, inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your spine. Two more, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, good, exhale. Please, child's pose. Turn and face the top of your mat. Bring your big toes together, knees wide. Reach your arms way out in front of you. Center your forehead onto your mat and then just breathe. Rock a little side to side. So we just worked our pelvic floor. We worked the floor of our core. And now let it release. As you are in this posture, reach your arms a little further forward. Stretch your hip backs to elongate your spine, but also to broaden your pelvic floor. So we want it strong, we want it long, all of our muscles. Strong and long. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Awesome job, team. Inhale, all fours. Come on up. So good. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Punch the floor. Round your spine. Pull your front ribs in. Inhale, cow pose. Fire your back muscles to open your heart. Now exhale, cat. Reverse it. Pull your core and broaden your shoulder blades. Open the back of your heart. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale. Hovering tabletop, bear pose, pause. Isometrically, pull your wrist back, pull your toes forward, bear walk. Go right, left, right, left. Go right, left, right, left. Exhale, exhale. Four, yes, for three. You got this, team, for two. Good, one, inhale, high plank pose, walk back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feel free to walk in place a little bit. Yeah, just open it up. Stretch it out. Inhale, lift your heels really, really high. Exhale, bend your knees. Draw your tailbone back and up to elongate your spine. Bite your front ribs in to fire your 360 core. Claw the floor to draw the weight forward out of the back of your wrist. Take an inhale. 
Good. Exhale, forward fold. Step to the top of your mat. Generous ragdoll variation. Feet at least mat width distance. Go ahead and let your belly hang all the way down. It's not about hamstrings here. It's about releasing your spine. Sway a little side to side. So here's the thing tonight. Let alignment go a little bit. Of course I'll be guiding you. Of course we'll be putting you in safe poses. But as we flow, just let it go. Side to side, flow, flow. Let it go for four. Keep swaying for three. Awesome, for two, you got this, you got this. For one, bring your feet together or underneath your shoulders, whatever is more comfortable and stable for you. Bring your hands behind your head. Inhale, high halfway lift, reverse crunch. Come up high enough that you arch your low back. It's in a back bend to fire the muscles on either side of your spine. Push your fingers into your head, your head into your fingers, and tuck your chest, chin rather. Reverse neck, reverse tech neck right here. Breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Interlace your fingers. Inhale, mountain pose. Flip your palms over and up. Exhale, side bend stretch over to the right, just so you can see me. There it is. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, side bend stretch over to your left. Inhale, mountain pose, now arch back, lift up. Exhale, forward fold, hinge. Inhale, high halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, all the way down to your mat, feel free to roll down. Reverse crunches, hands behind your head, let's go. Lift up and down, go up, down. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. As you're doing this, push your fingers into the back of your head. Push your head into your fingers. Tuck your chin, reverse tech neck. Let's go for four. You got this, three. Last two, make every moment count. One, release, plant your palms. Tuck your toes. Inhale, high plank or all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog team. Inhale, lift your heels, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, float or step. Inhale, high halfway lift, reverse crunch, hands behind your head. Exhale, forward fold. Interlace, inhale, flip your palms, mountain pose, reach, exhale, side bend, stretch. Oh, I love this, feels so good. Inhale, mountain. And exhale, side bend, stretch, yes. Inhale, arch back, look up. Good, exhale, forward fold, hinge. Inhale, again, reverse crunch, high halfway lift. Exhale, high plank pose. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale all the way down, or on your knees, and then all the way down. Reverse crunch with a lat pull. Externally rotate your legs. Toes out, heels in. Then take a cactus with your arms. Then lat pull, go up and down. Go up and down. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. For four, three, you got this. Two, yes, yes, make it. Mean it, inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ah. Take a deep breath in, a deep breath out. We're moving on, inhale, lift your heels, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, float or step. Inhale, high halfway lift, reverse crunch. Exhale, forward fold. Team, I'm gonna turn, you can stay where you are. If you've got a block or a water bottle, take it. Put it underneath your hands. Bring your heels together, toes out like Charlie Chaplin. Yeah, or first position, Chloe and Zarka, Zoe and Karis. Here we go. Froggers. If this is too intense on your knees, you come halfway down like this, or all the way down. You go down and up, down and up. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. You got this. Now we've got the flow. Going a little faster, double time. Down, up, down, up, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, you can. Woo, this is for your second chakra. Absolutely about creativity, sensuality, being able to be with everything and using your creative juices to make it work for you. Let's learn, go four, go three, almost there, two, oh my Lord. Inhale, share pose. Release your block or your water bottle and reach your arms to the sky. Sit down and back. Good. Open up your heart. Pull your front ribs in to fire and cinch your 360 core.
core to support you as you lift your heart. Feel the muscles on your back. Pull your arms back by your ears. Inhale, breath. Good. Sit a little bit deeper. Inhale, arching mountain. Bring your palms together. Gaze up. Drop your head back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale again, high reverse, high halfway lift, reverse. Exhale, high plank pose. Step back, my friends. Pause. Lower your hips down. Look forward as we learned from Joel today. Yeah, create that cylinder of energy, the center of your core. Plank jacks go out, in, out, in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So feel free. This is a little intense. Tap it right and left, right and left. It's all up to you. We've got eight, seven, stay with it, claw the four, six, fingers claw in, whoo, for four, last three, high plank and two, good, high plank, inhale, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, down dog kick, lift your right leg high, exhale, low lunge, bring it through, inhale, crescent lunge, rise up, breathe here, Root your front heel down and then isometrically drag it back. Root your back, big toe mound down and drag it forward. Carve your tailbone down and cinch your front ribs in to feel this incredible unification of your leg muscles and your core. That's one, two, three chakras right here. One, two, three, all firing and unifying so that your heart chakra can open up. Inhale here. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Feel free to bend straight, bend straight. Here's something on warrior two. Point your front knee directly forward, even if that means turning your hips just a little bit rather than off to the side, more like a warrior 1.75. Feel free to turn your back toes forward slightly if that helps you get your front knee pointing directly forward. Settle in, go deep. Ready, here we go. Inhale, star pose. Breathe in and up, exhale, horse, come in and down. Heels in, toes out, rock a little side to side. Take your forearms, iron to your inner thighs, spider twist, go toe, right, center, left, center, right, center, left, center. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. For four, for three, you got this, two, last one, inhale, star pose, breathe in, maybe a little back bend, Exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat. Bend straight, because it's our first one again. Check, prioritize that now your left knee is pointing directly forward. Back foot can turn in just slightly to give you that subtle, subtle alignment to protect your front knee. Stay low, inhale, reverse warrior. As you breathe here, lift your front hip tip up. Use your back side waist to crunch and fan your front ribs open, breathe in. Good, exhale, high to low plank. Plant your palms, shift forward on your knees or toes, elbows to your ribs. Inhale, upward facing dog, knees off the mat, squeeze your shoulder blades together to open your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Other side, inhale, down dog kick. Lift your left leg high. Exhale, place your foot down. Heather forgot. Plank jacks, inhale, high plank. Check it out, go out, in, out, in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Again, remember, you can always step it right and left. Yes, right and left. You take this at your pace. Know yourself, know your body. This is about you. Last four, three, last two. All right, high plank pose. Inhale, high, exhale, Downward facing dog. Now inhale, down dog kick. Lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Bring it through. Here we go. Inhale, crescent lunge. Rise up. Breathe here again. Root your front heel down. Drag it back. Root your back to toe mound down. Pull it forward. Carve your tailbone underneath you. Bite your front ribs in. You're doing so good, team. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, warrior two. Now just come into it, you know it. Look over your front hand, see what's in front of you. See the challenge ahead. Know that you have everything inside of you to make it. Take a deep breath in and a 
deep breath out. Again, inhale, exhale, so good. Moving on, inhale, star pose. Rise up, friends, rise up, star pose. Good, exhale, horse, in and down. In and down, now just rock side to side. Go front and back, go front and back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale for four. Gonna do a lot of this soon. Three, some wide leg squats today. Two and one, inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two to the front. You got this, inhale, reverse warrior. Good, exhale, high to low, your way. Feel free to come to your knees. Feel free to skip it and hold high plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Hey team, how's it sound? Is the music loud enough? Are you hearing me? I'd just love to get it here. If you're close to being able to put, your, put a chat function in or sure, and let me know if it sounds good, yeah? Deep breath in, deep breath out. I'm gonna assume it's okay, we're all in it. Inhale, lift your heels and look forward. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, reverse crunch, high halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, get ready. Bend your knees a lot. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Good, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Heart opening, core kriya, ready? Inhale, chair, let's go. Go right, left, right, left. Exhale, exhale, go. Just swing it. Even if you come a little bit out of chair pose, swing side to side. Make it work, just keep going, keep going. It's about the energy in your body. Can you feel what's happening now? Be with it, accept it, rather than resisting. Go deeper, go four, go three, last two, good. Arching mountain, inhale, arching mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse crunch, high halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, pose. Jack it out, let's go, go out, out. Exhale, exhale, for eight. Oh yeah, for seven, a little shorter, you got this. Last six, we're adding on two. Last five, you got this. High plank in four, Whew, three. Last two, feel the energy flow. One, inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, down dog kick, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, starter block, pull in, in. Exhale, exhale, for eight. Yes, seven. Last six, you can go slower too. Five, or never touch the floor. Four, all up to you, three. Last two. Hold, press and lunge, my friends. Inhale, press and lunge, rise up. Good, exhale, warrior two, let's flow. Inhale, star pose, arch back. Exhale, horse, in and down. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, breathe in. Exhale, high to low, or no plank, yeah? Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, high plank. Check it out, go out, out. Exhale, exhale, for eight. Woo, seven, six, five, four, three, high plank is coming up. Two, and one, inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, down dog kick, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, starting block. Let's go, pull it in, go in, in. Exhale, exhale, eight more, eight. Again, remember, you can go slower or never touch the ground. These are all available to you. Four more, four, three, last two. Oh, crescent's coming up, yes. Inhale, crescent lunge, big breath in. Mm, exhale, warrior two, kriyas, they build it, I feel it. Inhale, star pose. Good, exhale, horse, down and deep. Inhale, star. Good, exhale, warrior two, really use it. Use your breath in through your nose. Inhale, reverse warrior. Good, exhale, high to low. Your way or no flow, yeah? 
Inhale, upward facing or plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take three deep breaths. Inhale, open mouth, exhale. Inhale, open mouth, exhale. I know many of you are practicing with your family, so shout out to all the families across the country practicing yoga together, practicing kriyas together, practicing meditation together. Exciting, we're gonna add on. Our sculpt meets our kriyas this flow. Inhale, lift your heels, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, float or step to the top. Inhale, reverse crunch, high half lift. Exhale, forward fold, bend your knees a lot. Inhale, chair pose. Good, exhale, hands behind your head. Yogi air conditioning. Go twist, twist, exhale, exhale, eight. You can do this, seven. Good, six, keep breathing faster, in and out for four, three, last two. Amazing, Archie Mountain is next, let's do it. Inhale, Archie Mountain, arch back, gaze past your thumbs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse crunch, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, step back, last set, jack it out, let's go, go out, out, exhale, exhale, four more, four, almost home, three, last two, kicking this one up, team, ready, inhale, high plank, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, down dog kick, lift your leg high, exhale, low lunge, bring it through, it's a touch, and skip, let's go, go low lunge, skip, low lunge, skip. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You can always go slower, you can always do the starter blocks. This is up to you. Kick it up, let's go for four. Come on, yes, three. You got this, two. All right, crescent lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Good, exhale, warrior two. Warrior two, arm circles, my friends. Palms down, circle back, 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 back. We're making small circles. As we're moving, feel the muscles deep in your shoulders, helping you do this rotational aspect. Get strong from the inside out. Feel your whole core cinch in. Amazingly enough, arm circles, always reported that Madonna did these to get her arms not true. She and her trainer admitted what they did was squats. Don't worry, we're doing both. This is for your heart more than your arms. Go eight. Good, seven. This is opening up your heart chakra. Six, five. You can do this. Four, last three. Stay low in your lunge. Last two, reverse it. Take it back. Let's go. Go back. Opposite direction. Back, back. Exhale. Keep breathing. You got this. I'm feeling this already. Are you feeling this? Woo, I can hear you say yes. Not really, but energetically. I can hear you say yes. Stay with this. Gurmukh, one of my Kundalini master teachers, had us do this for 12 minutes. She said it's like you're on an ocean. You're swimming across an ocean. We are barely doing a lake. Keep swimming, keep swimming, keep going for four, three, Last two, hallelujah, inhale, star pose. Exhale, horse. Oh, my friends, good news. Good news right here, yogi air conditioning. Palms up, curl your fingers over onto your shoulders. Twist again, go right, left, right, left. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, twist, twist, twist. Stay low, challenge yourself. Just your rib cage rotates. Over your spine, that's your obliques. Helping you turn and fire. Feel your side butt, open your knees. Your whole sides getting strong. That's what stabilizes you when the world is unstable. You find your strength yourself. Let's go for four. Yes, three. Last two. Last one, inhale, star. Ooh, I'm still feeling my arms. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, lift up. Good, exhale, high to low. Or no, you could hold plank. Inhale, upward facing dog or plank. Plank is great core work. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Good team, we've got the other side. One more. Inhale, high plank. Jack it out. Let's go. Go out. Out. Exhale. Exhale. Four more. Four. Good. Three. Last two. Last one. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, down dog kick. Good. Exhale, low lunge. Low lunge. Stick. Let's go. Go to stick. Low. Stick. Low. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Stay with it. Again, you could always be doing starter blocks here. Whoo! I'm feeling it. You gotta breathe. You gotta breathe all the way down for the Kriyas. They are no joke. They're physical, no joke. They're energetic, no joke. Your enlightenment is worth it. Go eight, seven, six, five. Come on, come on, four, three, crescent and two, one. Inhale, crescent lunge. Amazing. Exhale, warrior two. Oh, my friends. We gotta get back across that pond. Back across that pond. Flap it. Go down. Down. Now we're like a bird. We're flying across the pond. But we fly really slow. So stay with it. Stay with it. You can do it. Mind over matter. Mind over discomfort. You're in this to win it. We're in life school. Physically, we're changing our body. Physically, we're challenging to find the change. Energetically, we're challenged, and in that we find the change for eight, seven, six, five, up in four, almost home, three, good, we're halfway across the pond, ready? Flip it up, up, pulse it up, up, exhale, exhale, we're halfway. It gets uncomfortable, right? Life was never a guarantee, and it sure as heck wasn't guaranteed comfort. So use it. Make it the best life school you can. Learn what you can right here, right now for eight more eight. Woo, seven. Oh, I hate the sex, but I love it. Five, I'm getting strong. Four, yes, three, last two. All right, moving on. Inhale, star pose. Good, exhale, horse, in and down. Rock it side to side. Go low, heart opening Kriya. This is to crack the energetic rib cage that is your heart. Reach your arms up, palms open, and then fists, hit your elbows into your ribs with a little bit of energy, like you're trying to crack the cage that holds your heart. Let's go, go down, down. Kapalabhati breath. Open mouth, shush. Kids at home, show us how it's done. Yes, let us laugh with you. Yes, go, go, more, deeper, hit. Open your heart, let's do eight. Ho, seven, six, five, four, almost home, three, moving on, in two, one, awesome work team. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two. Woo. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low or no plank. All up to you. Inhale, high plank or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Super proud of you team. Come to your knees. Please take a quick sip of water. Towel off. I know about you, but I need that. Let's have a little cheers, cheers. Mm. Ah. This is a yoga party. This is how yogis party on Friday night. A little hydrogen, ozone water. That's what's in my water bottle. That's a party in your body. Here we go, deep breath in. And deep breath out. We've got the squat series next. When you're ready, coming up. Face forward on your mat. Wide leg squats. Should feel pretty good because we've been in there enough. Getting things open. All right, come in and down. Wide leg squats. Rock a little side to side. Open it up. You got this. Stay low. All right. This Kriya I learned in India 13 years ago when I was there at the Osho Institute. It's called the Hu Kriya. So as we jump, you can either just lift your heels and jump like this, layer one, or all your feet off the mat. As we jump, say who, 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 H O O, who, 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 who. Come on, make it sound like a gorilla. Who, 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 who. Jump, 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 jump. This is working your first, second, third 
chakra, first, second, third chakra. Hoo, 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 hoo. Eight, seven, you can do this, six, five, four, three, last two. Hoo, 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 one, hoo, hoo, hoo. Stay low, deep breath in, two inches lower. Slow pulse, go up an inch, down an inch. Up an inch, down an inch. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. You got this. Stay with it. Go into the burn. This discomfort trains us for discomfort off the mat. Use every moment. It's worth it. Make it count. For four, up. For three, up an inch. Two, up an inch. One, amazing. Come down to the mat. Toe heel your feet in. All the way, Charlie Chaplin. Feel free to grab your block or your water bottle. Second set for second chakra. Froggers again. Either slow, low, or all the way down. Up, down, up. Inhale, exit. Inhale, exit. Full range. You should be feeling this now, yes? We are getting things moving. This is great for elimination as well. All the third chakra twists, good for digestion. This is elimination. Four, three, Last two, last one, team, nicely done. Straighten your legs. Separate your feet shoulder width distance apart. Foot vertical frog pose. Come in on down. If you've got a block, you can use it to elevate you off, elevate you for a moment. Press your elbows in. Bring your hands to your heart center. Lift your heart up. So elbows are pushing out against your thighs and your thighs are pushing in against your elbows. Activate your inner thighs, your adductors, and your pelvic floor. Lift your hips one inch off your block. This is too intense, you can always cross your legs. Interlace your fingers, pointer grip, release. Stick your tongue out to your chin, pant like a dog. <laughs> snap your belly in, snap, 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 snap. Pant, 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 keep going. This is again, second chakra. Your creativity. Like Joseph, you want to start a new company? You want to change how you're spending time in your life? You want to really make every moment count from here on out? No matter what that crazy world says, you're going to make it count. Right here, right now, four more, go four. Three, two, one, amazing work. Release your block out of your way. Inhale, star pose. Whoa. Last set of squats. I'm gonna show you from the side. We're gonna take a basic squat. Squat with our hands behind our head. Kick your one leg behind you, heel up, toe down. Squat, kick back, heel up, toe down. Back extensions with the squat, let's go. Go squat, extend. Squat, extend. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. If this is too much on your low back, you can take the back bend out, just do the leg extension. Absolutely fine. The goal is not height with the leg and hip extension. It's about heel up, toe down. So we're targeting the glute max, the biggest part of our touch. Get that strong for opening your heart. You can do this over and over again. Go squat, extend. Squat, extend. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Let's do eight, seven, last six, last five, last four, last three, almost home, two, good, one. Inhale, mountain pose. Bring your arms up over your head. Amazing. Exhale, hands to your heart. We're going to take a Kriya. I'm gonna come down onto my knees, but you can absolutely stay standing. If you've got a block, you can sit on it. Imagine a Sharpie on the top of your head. We're gonna draw the infinity symbol right above. This is for your throat chakra. May we speak truth. May we speak power, truth to power, right? Truth to power. When we need to stand up and say, this is our truth, we have the power to do it. All right, draw it, take your chin down. To the right, up, around, and down. To the left, up, around. Go right down, around, down, around. If you have a little bit of motion sickness, this can trigger it. 
try closing your eyes or opening them. See what helps you. I, about half the people I've worked with, eyes closed helps. About half the people I work with, eyes open work. So you do you, okay? You do you, explore. All right, those of you feeling good, no neck or shoulder issues, a little faster. Go down, 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 down. Trust, have trust that you know the truth. Open up your throat. Let's go for four more. Four, three, yes, two. Amazing, one. Inhale, mountain pose. Interlace your fingers. Steeple grip again. Draw your arms close to your ears. They may not make it. No problem. Find the truth for where you have. This is really, really, really to connect our throat to our third eye chakra. Inhale, arch back, look up. Exhale, drag your thumbs through your third eye, bow down. Inhale, arch back, exhale down. Let's go, do it. Go up, up, exhale, exhale, up, up. See if you can just gently tap your third eye. Tap, tap, up, up, four. Yes, three from the side if you need to know what's going on. Two, one. Inhale, rise up, hold, rise up, hold, hold. Take a deep breath in. Complete breath out, close your eyes. Look up at your third eye center. Envision from the back of your skull, inside your forehead, envision a golden, golden ohm symbol. Channeling right there, big breath in, big breath out. Good, inhale, reach up, exhale, release. Amazing work, team, awesome job. Here we are, oh, you're doing so good. Come on down onto your mat. If you've got a block, you can use it. If not, your water bottle will work just as well. Roll onto your back, teaser is next. I'm gonna go a little bit out of 45 so you can see me. Take your block or your water bottle, medium wise between your thighs. Squeeze your block, squeeze your water bottle, squeeze your thighs together. Extend your right leg out on the same plane as your left thigh and use your block, squeeze it together. Extend your arms up to the sky. Two up, two down, let's go. Go up, touch your toes, come down and lower. Go up, try to touch your toes, go down, lower. Up, up. Go down, down, up, up, go down, down. Exhale, inhale. Four more, go four, go three. Last two, now hold this one up, hold it up. Hands to your heart, twist to the right. Go right, right, exhale, exhale. Keep your back lifted, open up your heart. Press your hands together to activate the front of your chest. Broaden the shoulder blades on your back. Get strong, front of your heart. Go four, three, last two. Good, last one. Stay center, extend your legs up. Hold for a moment. Too tough? Feel free to come onto your hands or come back. As long as you can keep your back flat, you're doing even better for your core than staying up rounded. Go four, three, two, one. Lower down, nice. Keep the water bottle or block. Rock side to side. Rock side to side. Release your low back. Yes, come on down, team. Woo! That which we do the right, we got to do the left. Because it ain't golf. It's yoga. No matter what my dad thinks about it, it's still yoga. He's a golfer. Got to shout out to my family tonight. All right, squeeze your legs together. Extend your left leg out. Arms go up. Let's go. Go up. Reach. Down, up, go up, reach, down, reach the sky. Up, lift, down, down, go up, lift, down, four more, go four, go three, hold it up, into, now hold this one up, bring your hands to your heart center, twist it left, go left, left, exhale, exhale, keep your heart up, tip a little forward on your sit bones. Go seven, last six, both legs up in five. Yes, you can, for four, three, two, one. Both legs up, squeeze your block. You have everything inside you, deep inside you, to get through this, to live the life you're supposed to live. 
right here. Go four, three, two, one. Lower all the way down. Again, bring your knees to your chest. Amazing work. I feel everything alive in my body. Now it's time to use all the strength we built, opening up so many of our chakras. We're all the way up to our third, our third eye chakra, of the sixth chakra. Know that you have intuition in you to make the best choices in the moment. We're gonna do some core and pelvic, pelvic and leg work here, unifying all of that, and then there's some back bends at the end. Because it's yoga sculpt, body weight edition. All right, with the block between your thighs, toe heel the inside edges of your feet together. Squeeze your block, no block, no problem. Squeeze your feet together, your knees together. Super on your arms, roll by your arms, side to side with your legs. Go right and left, go right and left. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Squeeze your block, try to stabilize your upper back. So what is moving rather than your torso is your pelvis. Do you feel it rocking? That's what you want. Keep your head down. I'm just trying to make sure you hear me. You got this. Inner thighs strong. Make it count right here, right now. Go four. Go three. Go two. Go one. All right, back to center. All right, open up your feet just an inch, just an inch so that your feet can be completely flat on the floor. Bring your hands down either side of your hips. Inhale, bridge pose, pause. Squeeze your block, pulse it in, go in, in. Exhale, exhale. Careful, if you have a water bottle that's glass, don't squeeze too hard. But that's even like more mindful, isn't it? There's like danger, yeah? That's like life right now. You gotta be more mindful. You gotta know how to play. Go eight. Seven, six, five, four, hip lifts, three, two, pulse it at the top, go up, up, exhale, exhale, lift it higher. We're squeezing the very bottom and back of our glutes, right there. With the block, you're firing your inner thighs so the sides of your glutes aren't turning on, we don't want that. We just want the bottom and the back, the bottom and the back, go eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, hold up in two. All right, team, hold it all the way up. Keep your head on the mat. Just rock side to side, side to side, side to side. So you're making like a little rainbow on your, on your mat with your head. So that's like rolling side to side. We're freeing up our neck, freeing up our spine. Getting ready for some killer back bends right here, right now. Go four, go three. We're freeing up our spine, freeing up our chakras. Two. One, release. Okay, team. Block or water bottle safely out of the way. Block or water bottle safely out of the way. Pelvic clock. Rock your tailbone forward to arch your back. Then tuck your tailbone and pull your pubic bone up to your face. Rock forward back. Rock forward back. We were massaging through the second chakra, first chakra, second chakra. We're using our core to hold in and contain our third chakra, our ego. The bottom chakra, our base root chakra is I am safe. The second chakra is I am creative, I create. The third chakra is I commit, I will. The fourth chakra is I love. Take your I love space, open up your palms. Those of you going into wheel with me, flip your palms, widen your hands an inch wider between them. So you have a broader stance. Maybe you want a broader foot stance. Try that tonight. Take bridge pose if you'd like or join me in wheel. Inhale, wheel pose, come to the crown of your head. Turn your pinkies away from each other. Exhale, wheel pose, breathe. Mm. Use the strength of your glutes. Push down, fire to open up your chest. All the power in your heart for four, for three, for two, for one, come on down. Amazing, circle your wrists, take your thumbs, curl them in, take your four fingers over, circle your wrists one way, and circle the other way. Do it again, circle one way, circle the other way. Bring your knees to your chest, rock side to side. 
Rock side to side. Oh, roll up and back. Roll up and back a couple times. Roll up and back, my friends. Amazing work. I'm so proud of you. All of the Kriyas are to help you get to the spot that no matter where life is unstable, you can still offer your heart. No matter where in life, you can learn to be the best human you can. Roll up to a seated position. For those of us that don't have anyone around us right now, yeah, if you are alone, know first of all, you're not alone. We're here together. Know that you are loved, we love you. You are seen, we see you. You are very deeply valued as a human contribution to the sum total happiness of humanity. You are needed, you are valued. And this is to help you feel that if you're by yourself. Extend your arms out in front of you. Then turn your thumbs down so the back of your hands are facing each other. Cross one of them over and interlace. Then sweep your fingers down, up, and around. I'm going to go through that all again because sometimes the first time we do it, people are like, what? Let's do it again. Extend your arms out with your thumbs up, palms facing each other. Then flip your palms down. Then take and cross one of your hands on top, interlace. Take your fingers down, up, and around. It's like you're giving yourself a hug. Cross one of your ankles over the other. This calms anxiety. Joseph, you were asking about emotional freedom techniques like tapping. This is another emotional freedom technique. Donna Eden teaches this. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Now we're going to uncross and reverse it. Uncross your legs. Thumbs down, palms. Whatever arm you took naturally on top, reverse it. Interlace, sweep in and under. This is gonna feel like somebody else is giving you a hug. Cross the other leg on top. Feel it, deep breath in. And deep breath out. One more, deep breath in. And deep breath out. Amazing work, team. Release, figure four. Cross your right ankle over your left, seated position tonight. Rock your hips side to side. Rock your hips side to side. Keep your right foot actively flexed. Massage through your low back. Massage through your sacrum. Massage through your external rotators, the back of your tush, right there. Feel your sit bones nice into those muscles. Have it feel good. You can stay here. You can pull your heel, your heel closer to your tush. That will increase the stretch. Or double fire log, yes? Oh. Take and lower your left foot down to the mat. Slide your right foot on top or even inside and you can hook your hands to hold your knee if your knee is hanging up high. Or stack your feet or if you're very flexible, you can stack your foot over. Lift your hips, everyone. Slide your tush back. Go to the layer that feels right for you. This feels good for me tonight. Take your hands, inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, arch your back, so we're working our outer hips. Exhale, round your spine, we're working through the pelvic floor again. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your spine. Now, take your right hand on the outside of your thigh, your left hand behind you. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, twist. Root your sit bones down. Axial extension, reach through the crown of your head. Inhale, exhale, bite your front ribs into twist, good. Inhale, back to center, reverse. Right hand behind, left hand to the outside of your right thigh. Inhale, exhale. Good, one more like that. Inhale, exhale. Amazing. Switch it out, other side, figure four. Now, again, if that fire log's not for you, you can stay inside of figure four. Amazing, we're all getting a fantastic hip stretch here. Fantastic hip stretch. We did the front of our legs, we did the front of our hips and all those fabulous bridges. Now we're doing the back of our glutes right now, then we move to the outside of our hips. Stay with it, rock a little side to side. If you want more intensity here, bring your hips closer to your heel, keep flexing your left foot, or fire log, Dvipada Kapotasana, those of you Sanskritis keeping track. Again, the further over your foot hangs, the more intense. The more inside, less intensity. You can always use your hands to sling underneath your knee. Take it where you want. Those of you with your legs stacked, lift your hips, stick your butt back behind you. That'll help you stack a little more. And then again, rock and roll forward. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your spine. Good, one more. Inhale, arch your back. 
Exhale, round your spine. Amazing, come back to center. We've got our twist. Left hand to your knee, right hand behind you. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, twist. Inhale, long spine. Bite your front ribs in. Exhale, twist. Good, come back to center, reverse. Right hand on your thigh, left hand behind you. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, twist. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, twist. Oh, it's so good to do those a little bit longer twists. It helps you release the heat after all the Kriyas. So well done, my friends. All right, final Kriya for tonight. Feel free to come onto your knees or keep your legs crossed. Aura combing. This is for the eighth chakra. Um, so we are going to be working the crown and the eighth chakra, our connection to the universe, and then, um, and then cleaning out our aura. Take your fingers, uh, just like touch your the tips of your fingers together and then take them up and over. Tuck your chin and then tap your fingers on the bone that sticks out at the base of your neck. That's C7, cervical seven. Do you feel that bone sticking out? That's where you're going for the tap. Inhale, look up. Exhale, tap. Let's go, go up, 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 up. Open mouth, exhale. Go, tap, 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 tap. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Close your eyes, relax. Plant your palms on your legs. Palms up if you need energy, palms down if you're ready for grounding. Begin to completely turn inward, right? It's less about outer, it's more about the inner. That's what the whole night's been. It's been an inner party. Inner party. Now observe, observe how you feel. Observe the change in your physical body but maybe more importantly, the change in your energetic body. When you're ready, roll off to one side and then please roll onto your back. Roll onto your back. Final resting pose, one final Kriya before we go into our final rest. One final Kriya. This is the point flex, point flex the toes that we worked uh, yesterday, if you were with us. If not, no worries. Roll onto your back in final resting pose. Root the backs of your heels into the mat. Then point flex, point flex your feet, point flex. And as you do that, let your whole body rock up and down on your mat, up and down on your mat. It's almost like you're gonna be saying yes with your head. That's how free your whole spine is. Point flex, point flex, point flex. Um, it's very much like the shaking Kriya we did before uh, on, on yesterday's yoga sculpt class, except we're just shaking on the floor. So shake, shake, flex your feet, point flex, point flex. Keep going, keep shaking. Last four, last three, last two, Final resting pose. Please come to a still point. Press your elbow points into the mat. Lift your heart, tuck your shoulder blades underneath you. And then just rest. My sweet friends, bring your hands to your belly, just palms down on your belly. With your palms on your belly, start to soften your abdomen. We've been using it so much. Now just soften it. And as you breathe in, 
feel your belly rise like, like a newborn. Let your belly really expand. And as you exhale, let it fall. We're gonna do six of those. Oh, thank you, Laura, so much. Deep breath in, let your belly rise. Exhale, let your belly fall. Four more. Inhale. And exhale. Three more. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Biggest belly breath you can. Inhale, breath. And exhale. Six deep belly breaths has been proven uh, with trauma to release the trauma and to move people from the fight or flight nervous system into rest or digest. And that is physical or emotional trauma. So that deep belly breathing has been used in many, many therapies to help people recover. So remember that, whether it's small or big, right? The trauma of the coffee not coming out right or the trauma of coronavirus and, and worse things and everything in between, right? Know that your deep belly breath is there for you. Inhale, reach your arms over your head and exhale, bring your knees to your chest and feel free to rock a little side to side. If it feels right to roll, if it feels easier to roll to one side or the other roll to that side, if not, then you can just roll through to seated and come on up. And then find a, find a seat that is comfortable, whether you're sitting on the floor and your spine can be straight, that's fantastic and long, uh, or you're in a chair and your spine is long, or if you'd continue to like lying down, if that is what feels right, obviously go with that. Use your intuition, right? We opened the third eye tonight. Use your intuition. Thank you so much, my friends, for joining me. Uh, we are moving into a little um, energy healing meditation tonight. I hope you like that. I've been doing um, a great deal of research and training with Jill Blakeway, and she is an incredible acupuncturist, um, Chinese medicine healer, uh, who is a great science mind. And so she has done incredible research, incredible research. Oh, I love it. People were coming to tears with the belly, but yes, see, it's the body processing trauma. Yeah, we all had trauma, you know. We all got born, however we got born. That was trauma, that was one. And then we've had all other variations of trauma. Uh, so uh, it's so important, right? It's so important. Ali, you're welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Goodness, beauty, truth. Such ananda, my friend Joel Klopser. That's true. So uh, energy healing is something that we can all do. Uh, in fact, the research shows that skeptics are as good or better at energy healing than those of us that are believers. All it takes is practice. Jared, you're welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. So we'll do a short meditation on energy healing, and then that's something that you can practice on a daily basis, but it's to bring healing into your own body, and then you can also practice with other people. Um, we'll start with just coming to that seat, that long spine again. Uh, if you're staying, uh, Thank you for being here. Those of you maybe just joining, maybe you just came for the meditation, huge welcome. Those of you that need to cruise out, thank you so much for being here. It was my honor to, uh, to move the energy with you and flow and Kriya with you. It was a joy to be with you. Um, thank you, my sweet family. If you are still there, uh, Karis and Zoe, I love you so much, mom. Um, my mom is a yogi, my friends. She's actually a teacher and uh, she was my first teacher, but she's in a Vedic order, so she's also a teacher. Uh, her name is Swamini Vishwa Lakshmi Ananda Ma, uh, but I just call her Mama G and you're welcome to call her Mama G too. So Mama G, thank you for being here. All right, friends, energy healing. So find again that long spine uh, go ahead and gaze at one point softly or close your eyes and then imagine from the center of your pelvis a golden channel of light rooting you down to Mother Earth, the very center of Mother Earth. Think of it as your golden grounding cord grounding you down to Mother Earth. Feel that rooting. You might even feel heavy in your body. Just 
feel connected to Mother Earth. In India, they call her Mata Ganga. Um, Mother Earth is, is the, it, she's, her expression is the Ganga, the Ganges River. Mata Ganga, so Mother Ganga, Mother Earth root down from the center of your core, the center of your pelvis all the way down. Like imagine your psoas, your iliopsoas complex rooting straight all the way down to Mother Earth, the very core of your core down to Mother Earth. And now above your head, invite all of uh, all healing energy in the universe from the unified field, from the creator, however you call it, from out there. Um, invite healing energy, your healing energy, into a huge glowing ball of energy above the crown of your head. In my head, this looks a lot like Dumbledore swirling the water um, in that big fight uh, against, uh, against he who shall not be named, but it can look any way you want. Imagine that glowing ball of light getting brighter, getting bigger, getting brighter, getting bigger, getting brighter, getting bigger. Feel the grounding cord to Mother Earth, and when you're ready, take the healing ball of energy light in through the crown of your head, through your crown chakra, through your third eye chakra, through your throat chakra, through your heart chakra, down through your third, your third chakra, your solar plexus, down through your sacral chakra, your second chakra, your hips, and down through your legs. Let your whole body be glowing, glowing light. Let it connect and seal this uplifting healing energy balanced by the rooting, grounding energy of Mother Earth. And then take your two palms about torso distance apart and just start to move your palms out about two inches away from each other and feel the quality, the density of the air between your hands. And then pull your hands in two or four inches. And then feel the difference in the quality and the density of the air between your hands. And go back and forth, feel your hands open, feel the quality of the air between your hands. Feel your hands get a little closer. Feel the quality, the density of the air between your hands. And then just feel, feel. Keep your hands where they are and just feel, feel. Maybe you feel cool or hot or electrical or just the change in the density of the air. Just feel that. If there's any area of your body that you feel needs healing energy, you can take your palms left palm and then stack your right palm on top, left palm to your body, right palm behind and on top of it. And you can pull the healing energy in from your hands into that area of your body. If not, you can just keep feeling the sensation between your hands. And then slowly everyone bring your hands again about torso distance apart. Envision in your energy body hovering above you, maybe about two or six feet above you, a perfect template, a perfect template of your entire body in a perfected health state. And now imagine cords of light from your physical body to that um, energy body and hook up to your unified field. Think of those cords of light hooking you up to your perfect blueprint, your perfect energy and, and healing template and feel completely connected to your healing template. Slowly bring your hands to your heart center. Let's make a prayer to the world that uh, to to everything out there in the world that we may end suffering for all beings. Plea with all of your heart to end suffering for all beings, that all people everywhere may be healed, end the coronavirus, and pray for learning from ourselves, that we may learn together that even this most challenging time for many of us in our lives, May we learn from this. May we grow and be incredible humans together. Pray for all of us. Pray for one of us. Pray for every one of us. May we be happy. May we be healthy. 
May we be peaceful and may we be free. To that great end, we chant in Sanskrit, Loka Samasta Sukhino Bahavantu, meaning may all beings everywhere be happy, healthy, peaceful, and free, and may the thoughts, words, and deeds of our lives contribute in some way to that end. Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu The more quietly you chant, the more powerful it is. Let's take one final um together. Deep breath in, open mouth, exhale. This one's for om. Deep breath in. Thank you all so much, so, so very much for being here. Wow, 200 people stayed. Thank you so much for staying for the meditation, for the healing energy work. Um, again, Jill Blakeway's book is called Energy Medicine. It's absolutely transformative if you're looking for a really good read. I actually listen to it. I love, she's got a British accent. How can you not love that? Could just be me, forgive me if it is. But um, she's great reading it. So I would highly recommend that book if you're looking for a really good book right now. It will take you through about 12 different energy healing um, practices, techniques, as well as some really awesome, awesome scientific research and some just wonderful um, life experiences that she had. After reading and working with Jill, uh, I'm clear, every single one of us is an energy healer. Every single one of us can move energy in our bodies with Kriyas. Every single one of us can heal ourselves and each other. So um, keep your practice up, keep your yoga up. Thank you all, I'm seeing it. Oh, was that magical stuff? I'm so glad. Yay, Heather, you're welcome. I'm so glad you enjoyed. Thank you, everyone. You feel good. Edie, thank you. I'm so glad. Lots of smiles. Joanna, Joanna, it's so good to hear you and see you. I love it, Barbara. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Beautiful light. You're a beautiful light. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Tomorrow morning, we start again. We have classes at 8. That's a yoga sculpt. 1 p.m. tomorrow. That's a C2. And body weights are in the evening, which you can tell are a union of C2 and sculpt together. Um, and that's every day on YouTube. Share with as many people as you can share our channel um, coming together being together is the most important thing right now even if we are physically distant we are socially connected we are energetically connected we are here to to love and heal together my friends oh yes I am your yoga partner every night Julia absolutely we're in it together all right Adrian's up tomorrow yes absolutely 10 a.m. which is amazing i can't wait for you uh, to to work with adrian she's absolutely a light in this world please enjoy all the master trainers that are teaching this weekend we'll have many many more of our senior operations leaders teaching next week as well and more master trainers uh, get as much yoga as you can make every moment count what if what if this is our greatest opportunity what if this is our greatest opportunity to be the humans we've always wanted to be don't waste it. Spend your life on the things that really matter, not on the outside. What I can tell you is eight years ago, my husband went through and is still going through a health crisis. He lost his health in like three months uh, to Lyme disease. And we've been working and healing him from Lyme disease ever since. And within three months, our lives changed. It went from us getting ready to buy a house in California and having kids in California to us doing neither one of those and working almost full time on getting him well. While that wasn't a, a global health crisis, it was a personal health crisis. And I started in fear, and then I went to worry, like worry what was gonna fall apart next, worry was my husband gonna live, and then I finally got to anger. I was mad that our life changed. I was mad that life wasn't the same anymore. And I just wanna share with you, we're all gonna go through that. And the other side of it is acceptance. And what we did was we started radically accepting, and it changed. My practice became my foundation. I had my breath, I had 
moving my body and I had my meditation and I had my energy healing techniques and those made all the difference for Siren. Uh, he's doing so much better than many people that have neuro Lyme disease and, um, and he's Lyme free now, which is I guess a win, although we're still trying to heal him from all the damage, but, um, and life has changed, but I can tell you there's joy even in struggle. And so uh, I'm with you. If, if you're feeling like life is gonna change, it's never gonna go back, I wanna promise you that you can be a great human no matter how hard life gets and choose to make yourself better. Siren chose to make himself a better human and I can actually tell you I'm grateful for the experience. I can't believe who he's become. I'm so grateful for who he is in the world, helping Lyme people around the world. So know that no matter how bad it gets out there, we can be great together and we will be great together and Core Power and our family will be great together. And I know that and I know that because I've lived it and I know that because of who you are. So thank you all very much. Yes, Sinead, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and, and I just wanna know, I want you to know that you're gonna go through that. You're gonna go through fear and then worry and then anger. And on the other side of that is acceptance. And either way, look for the lesson. What is the most important life lesson you have this round? If, li if this is life school, let's, let's graduate. Let's, let's do everything we can to learn every lesson we can. Um, and look at it, it's all a drill, right? It's, all, uh, it's just drills, whether it's arabesques or wind sprints or drills to be okay when life is unstable. It's all a drill. Let's get good at living life. I promise I'll be here with you. I love you so much. Uh, this community means everything to me and and Siren as well. Um, Siren will be moderating with me on Sunday. We're teaching the 12 noon class. He'll be in moderating if you have comments or questions on, on the health journey. Um, and we will work together on our greatest life lessons on Sunday. So 12 noon, all of those are mountain times, by the way. So see you at 12 noon on Sunday. I'll be moderating all day tomorrow as well. So I'll be in the chat function and practicing with you. Um, I'd love to hear about your journey. Um, so much love to you all. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, every single one. Jamie, thank you so much for being here. Again, my greatest, my greatest honor to be with you. 190 of you still here. Oh my gosh, I'm just chatting. Oh my God, I love you all very much. Um, Oh, yes, mom. There, there's mom. Mom, mommy G, mama G. Say hi to mama G. She's G fuel people because my nephew uh, has, has taken over her YouTube account. But um, mama G, thank you so much for sharing and starting me on this journey. I am so grateful to you and, and Siren is so grateful to you for uh, being one of our greatest teachers as well. So thank you, mama G. Thank you, Karis and Zoe. If you're out there, much love to you both. Uh, my family and my yoga family. Thank you all very, very much. Uh, yes, Mama G, Mama G. Uh, so much fun, team. All right, well, have a fabulous night. Will you please go um, take really, really good care of yourselves? So we just did a lot of energy work if you did the class and the Kriyas. We also did energy healing great, but that was a lot of energy moving. Will you please eat some nourishing food? Those of you where it's late, at least maybe drink a little bit of something warm before you go to bed. Not too much, because I don't want you to have to get up in the middle of the night too much, but you know, do something where it's like getting in you and sort of grounding you down, yeah? And, um, and you might sleep very fast and very quickly, and you may wake up early and, and then be okay with that. No, um, that sometimes happens when we do the Kriya work. Uh, you know, get up, maybe do something, clean something, organize something. You know, um, many of you may sleep very, very deep and then you're welcome, <laughs> you needed it. Um, so sleep can be affected by the Kriyas in a good way usually. Um, sometimes you can sleep very deep and short and then you can you get, wake up. Some of you will sleep very, very deep and long and that's because you need it. Uh, love to hear from you tomorrow how you feel. The Kriyas are very powerful and you may find that you have really interesting dreams. You may find that you have dreams where uh, you uh, can see what's important to you, like what is your life lesson. So observe your dreams. And many of you might not be having a lot of dreams because again, when we get very afraid, um, dreams tend to go away or they're in panic mode. 
you may find tonight that your dreams are quite different. And so I would say just watch your dreams tonight and it, they, will, they could potentially be showing you a great lesson or something for you to be working on. So um, that's your higher self, that's your, your, your wisdom speaking to you. So please do watch that, listen to that. Um, a good shower is always nice too. Water is gonna help ground you as well. So if you can do any of those things, um, I just offer those up because that was a lot of Kriyas. We will be doing Kriyas on Friday nights. So we'll do it again next week. And I just wish you so much health and, and oh, health. Okay, so here's the things. Here's the, the four things that all the doctors that we follow, Dr. Klinghart, Dr. Mercola, Dr. Chopra, Deepak Chopra, Dr. Um, Duyard, John Duyard. These are all very different doctors, all, all, all with um, uh, uh, very, very different practices, whether it's Ayurvedic or all the way to um, you know, MDs and neurologists. They're all saying four things right now. High potency vitamin C. They're getting incredible results with people um, um, even recovering from coronavirus. High potency vitamin C up to 5,000 milligrams. John Duyard said this morning, high potency vitamin C. Um, liposomal vitamin C if you can get it. Vitamin D, high potency vitamin D, if you're interested at all. John Duyard has incredible articles on high potency vitamin D. And for us in Colorado, there's not a lot of sun right now, so get your liquid vitamin D in, yeah? Um, vitamin Bs, and that can be niacin too. Niacin is the precursor to vitamin Bs. So a B complex or niacin, finally zinc, right? So high C, high B, B as in boy, um, high, or sorry, high D, D as in dog, B as in boy complex or niacin, and then of course zinc. And those are like the four complex to keep you healthy if you need the nutrients. That's what I got for you, my friends. Have a fabulous Friday night. I could sit here and chat all night. I love you very, very much, but I will go because it's time for you to go and sleep or eat or, um, you know, do a hug for yourself if you don't have anyone else to hug or go hug someone. Um, and know that I'm energetically hugging you and I see you and I hear you and I value you so much. Yes, Steph, love you, love you, love you, love you, Charlene. So good to hear you and see you both and see you all. Have a fabulous night. We'll be together again tomorrow uh, and uh, keep yoga on, keep calm and yoga on, all my sweet friends. And uh, use this, use this time. Don't let it go by, don't waste it. Use it, become the human you're supposed to be. Become the spiritual being that's inhabiting this human form right now. Namaste.